bit of um, music by Jin at the end. And I'm going to kick off straight away by handing across to Sean um, from the Mass Society on the eve of the Mass Society Enrichment Week. So, Sean, come up, please. So good morning, everyone. We are the Mass Society Enrichment Week team. So we'll be presenting you the very first Math Enrichment Week, all of these activities to you from this, from this week. You might not like math, but please don't scare that math piece. And you can have a lot of interesting activities, and the first one will be interactive corridor activities. So basically, we'll be hosting like this. Uh, kind of like gambler's den style games in the corridors so that you can just come along and play these games, receive some sweets based on how well you perform, and all these interactive activities that are related to mathematical concepts, they'll just all be open for you. The second activity that we'll also be doing for, to spark your mathematical interest is these fundraising activities. So if you see here, these are the designs of six postcards that we have made. The profit from these postcards is going to be donated solely to a North Korean defector school and an orphanage. So for example, these are like some of the designs that you might, that you can look at. This one is used, this one is made by using a mathematical concept called chaos theory. This one, confidence intervals, not theory, and a scatter plot and linear regression. So one, so you can buy one postcard for 10, uh, 4, won and you can buy a bundle for 6,000 won, but actually 5,000 won because we'll give you a 10,000 won discount, so buy the more expensive one. And then again, the profit is going to be 100% donated to a local orphanage and a North Korean defector school, so your profit is going to be used for a good cause. There will be lectures for year 10 and year 11s, and for year 10s, it will be about optical illusion, and for year 11s, it will be about how to prepare their IAs in year 12. There's also going to be PAC exhibition, and one exhibition will be in the PAC foyer, and the other one will be in the ticket booth. Our members have also worked really hard for almost three to four months in order to publish the very first annual journal of mathematics in LCS Jeju. This might offer some insight into interesting mathematical concepts, and also some topic ideas for your upcoming IAs. And if you're a year 11 or year 10 student, some insight into how you can write really well in terms of mathematical writing. So these are going to be in front of the library, so if you're interested, you can just come and take one copy. The final activity that we'll be presenting to you is the math concert workshop, which is basically going to be a math competition that was followed by some lectures delivered by world-class professors from these top, top research institutes, like the National Institute for Computer Science or like Tankaya University in Turkey and all of these places. So thank you for listening and we'll be looking forward to your participation. Thank you. Very slick and well organized. Thank you very much, Math Society. Um, and year eights, year sevens, year nines, at certain points through this week, you need your devices, your laptops, your, your iPads, in to complete the maths competitions, the maths challenges in tutor times. So if you haven't checked the notices, um, please check with your tutors to know which days you need to bring in your devices so you can complete these tasks. Superb maths society, thank you very much. Right, on to biology. Some awards, some notices from biology. Mr. Pritchard. Now, it's not just biology. We're looking at a very much a cross-disciplinary approach, and it's fairly indicative of the interdisciplinary future that we all expect from not just ourselves, but our future generations. So I'd like to sort of share with you our NLCS Jeju students that have followed their passion and, and been inspired by their passion to compete in what is known as the KSEF competition, which for some of us who don't know what that is, it is a very high esteem uh, competition both locally, South Korea, and internationally, and it stands for the Korean Science and Engineering Fair. Now our students had um, taken part in this, and you can see here on the PowerPoint, 
we've got some gold, silver, and bronze awards. Now, this is very, very um, uh, commendable, but it's also exceptional, and we mustn't lose sight of that. Now, our students, just to give you a bit of a background, for those of you who might be slightly interested in taking part in such a competition, um, they launched their applications in November, they participated in January, and part of the participation is to make sure that everything they communicate with the KSEF is in English. So they presented a five-minute video in English, and they also wrote and discussed, again in their video, their research paper, which was also in English. So can I invite up onto the stage, please, and also have these awards handed out to them so that we can recognize these amazing events. And in this order, thank you, could I have Sean, Sean Yoon? <laughs> thank you. Can I have also Jason Lim? Thank you. Sean, if you could just stand there, thank you so much. And then Anthony Lim. Angela So, Eric Kim, Daniel Yu, and Kevin Lee. Thank you very much. And if you just cast your eye over the PowerPoint, you'd be able to see that there are topics, not just from biology, but that from computer science, planetary science, um, optics, and biochemistry and also uh, neurology. So I think please give them a very um, well, you know, earned round of applause. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much and well done. Okay, we move on. Mr. Herbison, online music project and all the many other things that are going on in music at the moment. Good morning, boys and girls. Uh, I can't tell you how excited we are in the music department to have you back here in person, especially with the uh, upcoming spring concert this Friday, which I hope you either attend online or in person, or indeed be a part of. So we have lots of news to get through. I've been told I have three minutes, so I'm going to go as fast as I can. Um, all, these, all this uh, information on these topics are on the new student news bulletin, so if you don't catch anything today, please go and review it after the presentation today. Thank you. Okay, first of all, the announcement of our new Ellington studio, which is now up and running. Um, we're looking forward to getting a lot of you involved in that and learning how to use the equipment properly, and that'll be through our, our new CCA and a new Bryant, which we've created as well. Um, Last year, we completed, uh, we completed an online collaboration amongst the NOCS GEDU students here, uh, which is very successful. We're just going to watch a quick clip of that. Okay, you get the flavor of that. Now this year, uh, we're going bigger and better. Um, we've invited our sister schools across the world, Singapore, Dubai, London. And also we have a special guest, uh, Mr. Jared Presencer, who's one of the, the finest jazz trumpet players of the past uh, 20 years now, um, has agreed to come and perform online with us. Uh, Jared's based in Copenhagen now, but he was uh, the head of jazz at the Royal Academy in London uh, for 12 years, and the head of brass at the Institute in Berlin and has also performed with some of the most, uh, most talented musicians in the world. So a really great chance for you to be involved and perform with someone um, of that stature. Uh, so I'm going to go very, through very quickly how to get involved in this. Uh, you can see here, um, all the materials are online for you. We've got a Google Classroom with all the backing tracks and the sheet music. In addition, we have the 
the new studio, which you can come along to and we'll record you. Um, we have a great video team as well to do the video for you. Uh, but essentially, the instructions are here for you. And we're just going to have a quick introduction from Gerard. JG. My name is Gerard Presenza. Uh, I'm looking really very much forward to working with you on this new project. Mr. Herperson has given you the music to work on, so keep working on that. And also he's told me to tell you that he'll help you record it if you need any help. I'm going to need it. But I'm going to keep practicing, getting ready for this project and uh, looking forward to working with you. Take care. So I'm going to go through these very quickly. Uh, some changes to music CCA, uh, music CCA season three. Uh, we have a new uh, festival orchestra, which will replace the Philharmonic and the Symphony on a Tuesday, and a new CCA with using the Elegy Studio, uh, teaching you some studio techniques and also some composition techniques. Um, some lo lots of exciting projects you can take part in on that CCA. In addition to that, uh, we have a new festival choir, which will take place um, on Friday. Uh, Wednesday and Friday lunchtimes. Changes to the CCA Bryant's, uh, sorry, uh, Bryant's on season three. Uh, we will have a new advanced symphony orchestra on a Saturday morning for the three hours. We'll also have an Elgin Studio uh, recording project, which will be working on the online project you just saw. Uh, previously, we have a new festival drumline with a special guest star all the way from the USA. And in addition to that, we'll continue to have our Sonitas student-led um, instrumental ensembles. Just a reminder that instrumental lesson sign-up deadline is this Wednesday. Please sign up. We have some special news about this as well as we've uh, managed to secure uh, the services of a new drum teacher. As you can hear, Mr. Jun Young Song uh, has got a great pedigree, graduate of Berkeley and New England Conservatoire. He'll be joining us uh, from this Thursday. A reminder about the spring concert on Friday. Um, thank you very much, boys and girls. Um, I'm going to move on now. All this information I just shared with you is on the student notices. Uh, which you can peruse at your, in your own time, okay? Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much, Mr. Herbison. Um, do you know, it's, it's information overload already, on, and we're, only, uh, we're not even at period one on a, on a Monday. I was thinking, this has got to be one of the most incredible schools in the world for opportunities and things that are going on. And each of these different items could have easily have taken up a full assembly. I think the important thing for you as students is to... Is to filter some of this and grab the opportunities that apply to you, whether it's math society, whether it's working with one of the world's top trumpeters, whether it's working with Tower Aid, in, we're going to hear from them in a the moment, or from one of the societies. That's the important thing, is that you all try to grab the thing that's in, important to you. And we've got so many things like that going on. So by all means, filter some of this, but grab things. Make sure that you're involved in something. Right, we carry on. Angela, we're on time. Hello, we're from the Tower Aid fundraising team. Firstly, thank you all for your participation in the, in the events that we have held for the past two weeks. We would like to announce the winners for the event, guess the number of books in the library. And the actual number of books in the library was 20,375 books. Our lucky winners are Andy Kwok in Goblin 7A as a first place, Ruff Tuff in Goblin 9A as a second place, and Yuan Choi in Judge 7A as a third place. Congratulations to the winners, and please visit the CC office at the start of the lunch for the prize. For everyone who participated in this event, we sincerely thank you, and we hope all of you can engage with the upcoming fundraising events.
morning, everyone. We are the um, Society's Executive Committee for the year 2021. I'm Angelina, the chair of the committee and a member of the brigade. Uh, the purpose of today's <coughs> assembly is to introduce ourselves for the first time and share some of our plans for the rest of the year. Um, to begin with, we would like to go over the role of societies in our school. So societies are academic groups uh, led by students uh, pertaining to a particular area of study. And the role of societies um, is to provide students with opportunities to pursue their academic interests outside the classroom, develop intellectual curiosity and the minds of a scholar, share their ideas with students from different year groups, and build leadership experiences in organizing meetings, lectures, or any other activities as part of society work. Um, societies are an essential part of your life at, in, in NLCS, and if you are a future-oriented person, you would also know that it is a very effective way of showing your future colleges um, your interests, your abilities, and your commitment to um, particular areas of study. For this week, as Sean has nicely introduced in the beginning of the assembly, uh, Math Society is doing a lot of activities for its enrichment week. And today, um, as some of you might know, is International Women's Day, a day we celebrate the rich culture, history, and achievements of women. Um, the, including the CAC, a couple of societies are doing um, their events throughout the week, so please check them out on the student bulletin sent out by the Big Eight. Moving on to the role of SEC as the executive committee for um, these societies is to oversee the management of all societies, collaborate with society chairs to encourage academic activities outside the classroom, provide customized assistance to each and every society so that they could function in optimum conditions, and ensure that all societies are active to their maximum potentials. Uh, the SEC has been working as a key organ of the school for over five years now, and each year, uh, the selected uh, committee of members have been working towards these same goals. And for this year, we are um, the SEC, and now we're gonna uh, pass on to uh, each member to describe their roles within the society. Hello, I'm Lawrence Bay, and I'm in the computer science and math representative of the SEC. Hi, I'm Chris Park, and I'm responsible for managing environmental, economics, philosophy, TOK, and MNST society. Hello, I'm Joe. I'm, I'm the sciences representative of the SEC, and I'm in charge of um, publishing society articles in the NLCS Hub. Oh, hello, I'm Daniel. Um, <coughs> I'm responsible for history, geography, and Korean. I'm also responsible for accurate update list of the societies. Um, Annette couldn't be here with us today, uh, so there's Annette. Uh, she's in charge of all the languages societies, and I, um, alongside the chairing of the committee, um, in charge of arts societies. Uh, since the handover in January for the past two months, we've been working to uh, get accustomed to our roles as the SEC. Our first job was to check the progress of individual societies, and we wanted to make it clear that the SEC does not support the structure of SEC giving out orders and the society necessarily following them, but that we want to build a more interactive relationship with each society so that we can assist them um, accordingly. Our second job was to share the guidelines on online meetings, and now we've established that all societies should carry on with their activity if we were to go into lockdown again. Our third job was to implement the meeting lock system where each society was required to take attendance for every meeting and uh, report to the SEC on their regular society activity so that we can track uh, each society's progress. And our last job was to establish links with the NLCS hub team. Um, Joe, our member, is in charge of that link and now it is part of the society's jobs to contribute to this wonderful academic platform. For the rest of the year, we also have a couple of plans we would like to share. And um, apart from the general administration of societies and, their, and helping them with their enrichment weeks, we would like to first renovate the chair selection process. Uh, there has been requests to do this uh, in the society satisfaction survey that we sent out in the beginning of the year. And alongside that, we would like to clarify the roles of the secretary and publicity officer as soon as possible. 
Our second job is to implement the society's award system where we evaluate the performance of each society and member to be recognized and rewarded. And our last job would be to renew the society's list for 2021 and 22 academic year for which we are taking into account the society's activities reported on the meeting logs and others. For communication with the SEC, uh, notices are sent through NLCS Society's Google Classroom for other chairs. And if you have any other issues, feel free to reach out to your society's assigned member as introduced today or contact societies at nlcsjhu.kr. We recognize that the societies are indeed an essential part of your NLCS life and we would like to do our best to support your activities in all of them. Thank you. Today's music is Jun Kim, Year 9 Gaman, performing Siciliano Gi Garden for violin and piano by Francois Crazy. Please give her a round of applause. super music on a, on a Monday morning, but that was a bit special. Very well done, Jin. It's really rare to be able to communicate that well um, in any school, but at year nine, that's fantastic. One of our rising stars. Thank you, Jin, and thank you to everyone else who's contributed this morning. A super, superb start to the week into the lead-in to Founders Day and all the amazing things that we've got coming up in the next couple of weeks. Thank you all very much. Have a great day. <laughs>